We are going to go sailing. <laughs> you should come with us. You will like it. Oh, no. Hey, son, stop. I won't let you drown. I don't understand how I'll live now without my best friend. <laughs> Son, you made a very cool <laughs> castle. I like. I got a pretty good castle, too. I love making them. You both have really cool locks. Son, you are building a very beautiful castle. I like. It's a pity that I can't. Hi, Mikey. I'm very glad to see you. Glad we met. Let's swim together. No! We are going to go sailing. You should come with us. We'll have a great time there. You will like it. It's a good offer, so we'll go with you. Thanks for inviting me. We've never been on a yacht, but we really wanted to swim on it. It's very cool here. I didn't think the yacht would be so big. Mies and you can go swimming. But we won't for now. Then we'll come to you and have fun together. Okay, Mikey. I hope you two will go swimming soon because it won't be cool without you. Jump. I have never swam so far from the shore. I really like it here. I like it here too. I've always dreamed of sailing on a yacht like this. Oh no, I'm starting to drown. Oh no. Hey son, stop. I'm shocked. I won't let you drown. So don't worry. I'll get you out. I don't understand how this can happen. He can swim. Oh no, I don't have enough oxygen, but I still won't stop. <laughs> Mother, the Mason family has disappeared somewhere. They are nowhere to be found. I'm shocked. Stop, they were swimming. Did they drown? Oh no, we need to call the rescuers to get them out. Come soon! Three people drowned! I'm shocked! I didn't think that everything would be like this. I feel very sorry for them. I worry. Dive faster. You can't hesitate. Don't worry. Everything will be fine with them and they will get help. You got there very quickly. Thank you for hurrying up. I don't want my friends to drown. I'm shocked. My friends are experienced, so they can get them quickly, and then we'll take them to the hospital. Swim faster. Stop waiting. People's lives are at stake. I don't understand how a family could drown here. I don't know myself. They just disappeared while we were minding our own business. Here they are. We finally found them. You need to carry out the baby first, and then the rest. Take the girl. I don't understand how they could drown here. I hope that I will be able to surface with them. Hmm... I'm sorry to say this, but your friends are dead, so they can't be helped now. I'm really oh, sorry. No. Don't be sad. <laughs> hmm. I don't understand how I'll live now without my best friend. I wish I hadn't invited him to swim. I'm sorry this happened to your friends. I'm shocked. Hold on. I hope this never happens again. <laughs> A few moments later... What? Where am I? I don't understand anything. I'm shocked. It's like I'm somewhere underground. Need to free yourself. I really don't remember anything. It looks like someone buried me. I do not understand why. We were just swimming. And then I ended up here. That's all I remember. Good thing I have a pickaxe. It will be much faster. And here comes the light. I managed. These are the graves of my son and wife. I'm shocked. It looks like someone buried us all. Do not understand why. Hey, wake up. It's time to get out. Is this a grave? I'm shocked. I didn't think that anyone would ever bury me alive. Thanks for helping. I don't know who could have done this. I need to go ask the guard. I think he will help us. I really hope so. Let's go talk to him. He could see something. He could definitely see. Let's go quickly. I don't like being here. I don't like cemeteries. I'm shocked. Send it. Otherwise, as we speak, he might go somewhere. I hope he doesn't have a break. I don't want to wait for him. <laughs> hey, stop. Don't leave us. We just want to talk. Enough. We are not ghosts. Hey, can you hear me? We need to call the police. I didn't think that the dead could come to life. I'm really shocked. Oh, no. Looks like he lost consciousness. I'm shocked. It looks like we are considered dead. So it wasn't a joke. I'm shocked. Hey, Dad, I really don't understand what's going on. I'm alive. And for some reason, he was scared. He is strange. Hi, doctor. He saw us and got very scared. And it looks like he lost consciousness. Help him, please. Fine, I'll help him. It's good that you <laughs> called me, and now you can go home. Good luck to you. You came very quickly, doctor. Good luck to you, too. Bye. Let's go to Mikey. Hmm. And here is Mikey's house. They're probably all at home, because it's already evening. 
So send those. Yes, they are at home. I see them through the window. Knock Mason. I hope they don't get scared. Come on, hurry up. I'm already tired of waiting. I'm shocked. Are you resurrected? I'm shocked. Who you are? You are not real. What are you saying? We're fine. Oh no, she fainted too. I'm shocked. Hey, wake up. Oh no, this is not a real Mason. Daughter, get away from here. Let's go to the second floor. Well, stop. We are real. Hey, wake up. Are you okay? Don't worry. We are real. They just buried us alive. That's all. I'm really shocked. We were told that you died, so we buried you. I'm glad everything is fine with you. I'm very glad to see you too. Call Mikey and tell him not to be afraid. They told you that we drowned and that's why you buried us. It was? Hmm. I'll shoot now. No need for Mikey. They are real. They just didn't die. They were wrong. Our friends are alive. Mikey, don't be afraid. It's really us. I'm glad to see you. It's a pity that I don't remember what happened. I only remember that I fell into the water, and that's it. Mason, sorry. I'm glad everything is fine with you. I thought it wasn't you, and someone pretended to be you. It's okay. I'm glad everything is fine now, and we can continue to have fun and have a great time. I hope nothing else happens to us. Stupid divers. They said that you died. I will never trust them again. I'm sorry it happened like this. But now you know that you need to check everything yourself and don't believe it right away. Daughter, come out. These are the real ones, and everything is fine with them and with your friend, too. Hooray! I am glad to see you. I thought you died, but this is not so, and now we will have a great time. Let's have a great time today because nothing happened to us. We were really lucky that we didn't drown. I think that after we sank to the bottom and the rescuers arrived, a lot of time passed. <laughs> Two hours later. This is the place. They just rose from their graves and came to me. They said that everything was fine with them. I don't understand how the dead can walk. Everyone said that they died. I'm shocked. Don't worry, I'll catch them. And you won't be scared anymore. I'll look for them tomorrow morning. Fine. I hope you manage to catch them. I don't want dead people walking around our city. It seems to me that someone revived them. Stop talking so much. I'll do what I said and catch them. What else do you need? Hmm. Son, you have made a very cool castle again. I like. Soon I too will start building such castles. I like your castle too. I'm too lazy to build a castle, so I'm not participating. Let's just sit. Tonight you can go for a walk and have a great time. For example, go to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Everyone stand still. You are the Colons of the Misen family. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Hey, stop! We are a real family! What are you doing? Do not do that! Now, no one will help you, you stupid scammers. The real Mason drowned. Don't deceive me. Ha ha. Leave me alone, stupid cop. Don't worry. We will get out of here, because we are real. And you're just stupid and can't understand it. I'm shocked by you. I didn't think that we would be sent to prison. I'm shocked. We need to get out of here somehow. Don't worry. I'll think of something. But for now, we have to wait. Maybe they will release us themselves. <laughs> yeah, boy. I've been working here long enough, and I think it's already time to pick up my son from school. I went. I have to go. So bye, everyone. See you. Bye-bye. I hope he got a good grade today. You need to hurry so that he doesn't wait. And then we will have a great time together. And here comes the school. I see my son. I arrived on time. Hi, Mikey. We both arrived at the same time. Uh, haha, it's like a tractor. I didn't think that your dad is a farmer and drives a tractor. It is very uncomfortable. That's funny. I didn't think your car was so bad. Look what a car my dad has. She is very cool. Not like yours. So envy me. You have a tractor. Are you dumb? Leave me alone. I don't care that my dad has a tractor. You really got me. Stop teasing me already. It's not funny. Mikey, why does your son beat mine? Tell him not to do that again. Hey, what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Stop fighting. Solve your problems elsewhere and not here. This is actually a school. Mason, we need to have a competition. And then we will definitely be able to find out whose car is better. Let's go already. That's a good idea, Mikey. We'll see you tomorrow. I am sure that you will never overtake me on your tractor. Son, we need to improve our car so that it is even yes! faster, although he would never have overtaken us anyway. Dad, I'm very happy. 
I hope we can make a cool car and defeat them. I'm sure their stupid tractor will definitely lose. Hello, I'm going to compete against Mikey. And for this, I need to build a very fast and strong car. Wow, this is great. I will help you improve your car. I'm sure you'll win it. We need to try really hard. I don't want you to lose. And here is my garage. I need to turn this tractor into a masterpiece. And we need to try together to win. I hope we can do it. Dad, we can definitely do this. And here comes mom. Hello, dad will compete with Mason. And he needs to improve the tractor. Wow, this is great. I will help you. I'm sure you will win. You have to work hard so as not to leave him a chance to win. A few inches later. I'm very glad that we succeeded. And now we need to go to the football field. And there we will compete with him. And I am sure that we will succeed. I think he has no chance of defeating us at all. Dad, I'm very glad that we succeeded. Our car is now very cool. I wonder what kind of tests there will be. I hope there will be racing. Mikey, I'm very glad that we finally assembled your tractor. Now you will defeat this stupid Mason. Good luck, I'm very happy. Thank you, bye. Son, now we need to go to the football field. That's where we'll compete. We will defeat Mason, go. <laughs> <laughs> and now we've met Mikey and now we'll find out who has the better car. And I wanna say that you have no chance at all. Mason, you don't stand a chance. I put a cool new engine in this tractor so it is also very powerful so you can give up. Mikey, you really are saying all this in vain. You lost in disgrace. You didn't start all this in vain. This is really funny. <laughs> wow, Mason, we are going smoothly. But soon I will go out and you will lose. After all, there is very little left until the finish. Stop! We arrived at the same time. How did this happen? I really don't understand. No one won. I came up with something. Let's go. Let's do some dragging of cars. I think that there we will find out exactly who won. That's a good idea, son. Go! This is the decisive moment. I'm very worried. <laughs> so, Dad, I really hope you win. Push it a little, and then we will definitely win. I'm sure your tractor will win. This is exciting! This is really weird. We're just standing still, although I'm winning, and it's very cool. Dad, you won. This is really very cool. I hope you win the next challenge. I'm really very happy. He wants us to continue. I'm really angry. Next thing we have is blowing up cars. Well, I definitely have to win here. Let's go quickly. I'm very upset. Don't get upset, Mikey. Mason, let's go press the buttons. Now we will find out who will win and who will lose. I hope it will be you, not me. Mikey, press quickly. I hope my car remains intact because she is very expensive. I'm very worried. And an explosion. Wait, what? They didn't break. This is good and bad at the same time. And now we need to move on to a new test again. And this is a ski jump. This is very exciting. I really don't understand why your car didn't fall apart. Let's go to the next test. I really don't understand why your car is so strong. Because I suffered over her. <laughs> Dad, here's the springboard. You need to accelerate as quickly as possible in order to fly far and win. I believe in you. I can do it, and I believe in it. So you don't even have to doubt it. Now is the decisive moment, and soon we will find out who the winner is. Wow, it was very cool. Now we need to compare, and this is a victory. There are no more tests. Mikai, I told you that my car is better. Mason is so not fair. I want another challenge. I propose to search for cars from the mountain and see whose will remain intact. Fine, I agree, but it still won't help you, so we're wasting our time. My car is very strong and nothing will happen to it. But I wanna see how your tractor breaks down. Mason, now you and I will find out whose car broke down and whose didn't. Launch it. I'm really worried. It's quite high here, but my car can handle it. You don't even have to doubt it. They rolled quickly. Let's go get them. <laughs> hmm? Oh, no. Our car broke down. I don't understand how this happened. She was very strong. I really don't understand how your tractor remained intact. Because my tractor is much better, and I tried very hard when collecting it. But you didn't try. Go away. You're not lucky. Mm -hmm. Ha ha. Now your tractor is gone too. So it turns out to be a draw. Mikey, I don't want to quarrel anymore. And I suggest we make peace and never quarrel again. 
Good, Mason. I agree. Forgive me for everything that happened. I hope that you and I will never quarrel again. Now we have no cars. This is really bad. Let's go home already, and we will never remember this again. Bye, Mikey. Today was a very strange but fun day. Tomorrow we will go out as usual and have a great time. Bye. Hmm. And here is our home son. Finally, you have arrived. Why so late? And where did the car go? What actually happened? We competed to see whose car was better and threw them off the mountain. And in the end, they both broke. And Mikey and I decided to make peace and never quarrel again. I want to sleep. I'm really tired. Hmm. It's a pity that I have to go to school again today. And I wanted to relax. I hope the lessons go by quickly. It's really not usual that we walk, but we'll buy a new car soon, and she will be cool. <laughs> hmm, it's Mikey coming. Haha, <laughs> Mikey, now you don't even have a tractor. You will be walking all the time, but you won't be making a new one anytime soon. Mickey, it seems to me that now something will happen again. They're coming at him again. I hate you. Get away from my friend. You shouldn't have started all this. Now we have to beat you. You are really stupid. Son, beat them. Mason, I'm very glad that they can finally give them back. I think that after this, they will definitely not mock them. I'm glad about it too. They can definitely handle it. Let's go for a walk. After all, you and I haven't really walked for a long time. You can go to McDonald's. Bye kids, Mikey, and now we need to buy new cars. I'm really too lazy to walk. A few moments later. Good morning to everyone. Today should be a wonderful and fun day. Mikey and I agreed to go for a walk and we will have fun with him. He loves to sleep so much that he can forget about it and sleep until nightfall. I have to wake him up and call for a walk. Mikey lives not far from me, so I'm very lucky, and I don't have to go to the other end of town to call him Mikey Come Out. Hey, on the way out, you're already... Oh, hi, Mikey. Have you forgotten what we're doing today? Hi, Mason. I remember everything. Today we have to walk with you all day. Let's go find someone who can take us away from here. Oh, yes, it's a good idea. Otherwise, we will have to wait a long time until we reach our place, and then we will have to go back. Oh, the jerseys look like they're coming for us. Hooray! Now we're going to leave this place and have fun all day. It's so cool, Mason. Yes, Mikey. Take us to a place where it will be a lot of fun and a lot of people. We want to have a good time and relax. Stop here. Thank you for bringing us here. We won't forget you. Well, Mikey, we have to have fun today and come home only when we get tired of having fun. It's time for us to go. We are at Mikey's place. Oh my you can God. go there and have fun. I hope there are people there and we can have a good rest. How beautiful it is here and the sand is so steep. Amazing. Look at how many girls there are. They're all so beautiful. We should get to know them and have fun. Oh, really? They're so cool. Hey, hi, girls. You're so handsome and red. We like you. Come here to us and we can have fun. Just without your green friend, we don't need him. Oh, thank you for such nice words in my direction. You are also very cool, and I think we will have a lot of fun with you. Me and my friend Mikey just wanted to hang out. Hey, Mikey, what are you doing there? Why are you so sad? They don't want to have fun with me, but everyone wants to talk to you. They even said they would be without me, but only with you. Let's get out of here, Mikey. Since they won't have fun with you, then I'm leaving here too, because you're my friend, and we have to defend each other. Let's run, Mikey. Playing basketball is much cooler than being with those girls. We play basketball together, and it's much better than with them because this is our favorite game. Thank you for supporting me, Mason. And now let's go home. It's late. It's a pity that we didn't have the fun we wanted. All right, Mikey, let's run. Goodbye, Mikey. You played basketball well. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll have more fun. I'll go to bed, too. I'm so tired of walking today. And we also played this difficult basketball. I like it. But when they play it, they get very tired. Well, it's time to go to bed. <sighs> what is it in general? Why is there a brick block outside my window? Was I locked in my own house? What do you mean? Need to go to Mikey. Oh, what is it? Why is there this web? Has something happened here or is someone trying to make fun of us? Everything is very creepy and incomprehensible here. There's this stupid web everywhere and I can't figure out what happened here. I need to get out of the house and go to Mikey. I hope he's all right and he's alive. Oh my God, what's the lava doing here? Someone really decided to lock us up here and that we would not get out of the houses anymore. But who could think of such a thing? I got burned a little bit because of the lava. I'll have to be careful not to die here and not fall into the lava anymore. I need to find Mikey soon. I hope he's at home here. Oh no, what are these skeletons? I hope there's no Mikey among them. Oh my God, I understood everything. This is not my house and not Mikey's house. This is a completely different place. 
It's clear that someone brought me here, but who could think of such a thing? It's very creepy here and there are skeletons around. I have to get out of here somehow, what is it there? Oh no, another skeleton, how many of them are there? And they were all real people. Now, I will be able to set up the cameras, and we will be able to communicate with Mazen on the cameras. I will do it now. What is this camera, and why is it moving? Hey Mazen, and these are us. What? Those girls at the party, from whom you left with your friend, now you will pass the quest. You're crazy girls, why would you do that? You scared me a lot and now I still have to go through your quest because I just left you? We don't even know you! And you're doing this, you're completely insane, let me go from here. Oh my god, there are skeletons here too, you're really crazy. So many people have already been killed, and only skeletons are left of them, and do you like it? Oh, why is this little house on fire? I have to put it out and search it in case there is something there to continue the quest. Hooray for something, hey you, and where is Mikey now? Don't worry, Mikey's fine, we didn't touch him. He's probably still sleeping and doesn't remember you. You're crazy, I'll get out of here. No. Meanwhile... It's very strange. It's already late in the morning, and Mason still hasn't come to me and asked me to go for a walk. What's wrong with him? Something must have happened. I have to go and inspect his house and cameras as soon as possible. What's wrong with him? Hmm... Hey, Mason, are you there? Oh no, he's not here either. Maybe he's in the bathroom. What's going on? Where is he gone? Hmm. He's not in the bathroom either. I'm completely sure that he was stolen or something happened. I have to watch the video from the camera. Mm hmm. <laughs> now I will find out the whole truth about what happened to him. It's good that he has a camera here and now you can see everything. Now we will find out the whole truth about Mason. Let's get him out of here faster while he's sleeping. He won't even feel that he's being taken out of his own house to our other place. Oh my god, he was stolen by those crazy girls. I have to save Mazen at any cost because he is my friend. Wait for Mazen, I will save you. Many tic tacs later. Where did I come from? Everything is rosy here and so bright. I'm probably close to the exit and I'll be free soon. And what's waiting for me here? Oh my god. What kind of photos are these? Did they take pictures of me with them at night? And now they have made such a montage? And if they hang it around the city, then everyone will laugh at me. It's good that there are no stupid cameras here and no one will be able to communicate with me. They are really crazy. What terrible pictures. But they look like real ones if someone sees because they will believe that it happened. Because it's very similar. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. I don't want to be here anymore. How to get out of here? I've already passed this stupid quest. I want to get out of here and go home to Mikey and walk with him. Oh my god, where am I? What is this pink room? And there are these crazy girls outside the door. I need to do something. Hey, you open the door for me. I need to have a serious talk with you. Hey you, what was that all about? Why did you do this quest and why do you need all this? Hey Mason, go sit on a chair and don't move. We won't let you run away. You're in our plan. We did it to get back at you for leaving. Oh my god, you're really crazy. I just left with my friend so he wouldn't be offended and you made a whole revenge out of it. Are you at all? Mikey will come after me and save me, you'll see. Come here, it's probably in that cave over there because they said they would come here. This is their place. They have my friend in captivity there. We need to go to him soon and save him before anything is done to him. We need a lot of people and arrest the girls. I understand everything, but in order to save your friend, we need more people. We don't know what they have there. Suddenly they are dangerous. Then we rather need to fly behind the podium and save Mason. They can treat him cruelly, they are crazy, and we have to save him faster. Go, go, go! You're just crazy. Get away from me, Hooray. They came to save me. Thank you so much. Hey, it's you, Mason. You're lucky. Your friend Mikey decided to save you. He's waiting for us in the helicopter. You're lucky with a friend. Oh, yeah. Thanks for saving me, but what are you going to do with these crazy girls? I think they should be arrested and put in jail. Yes, you are right. We will put all of them in prison for the fact that they captured you and imprisoned you, and also forced you to pass the test. Finally, freedom. If you saw how they mocked me and how they forced me to pass their tests, it was very cruel. So put them in jail for a long time. There are a lot of skeletons of people. Hey policemen, stop the helicopter here. From here we go on by ourselves. Thank you for deciding to save me. Good luck to you. Put them in jail. Goodbye police, Mikey. Thank you for thinking to call them and save me. I owe you. Well, we are friends, and you yourself said that friends should help each other, so I saved you.